All right, so I hope you guys can see open this bad boy up here. Got this on Amazon. Put a link down below where you can get it. But, you know, the, uh, the back pressure sensor, well, there, there's two different sensors that help control the, the geometry of the turbocharger or the variable vane geometry turbo, the, the vanes inside the turbo. Um, one is the back pressure sensor and the other one is the map sensor or the uh, boost sensor, whatever you want to call it. But uh, it uses that to determine like where, where it should position the, the vanes. And I took my turbo part in another video and the unison ring and everything else is fine, it's not stuck. So it just, it feels like it's taken longer to spool up than it should normally spool up. So, but yeah, that's weird though. I mean, if it's showing 14.9 PSI and the car is not even running, I don't know. I, when I do start the car up, it does actually add pressure to it. So it adds five or 10 PSI to the 14.9 PSI. So don't know what this, I do actually have a Hypertech stage three on there. So uh, two on there, so. But it, it actually, it, it ran sluggish even with uh, without the tune on there, so I feel like there's something else going on there, so. All right, so I'll get this out and uh, get it going. All right, so here they are. This was, I think it was like 30 bucks. And uh, normally you can just clean this tube out. Normally you wouldn't have to do that, but uh, I'm going on a vacation tomorrow, so I want to make sure I, uh, in case I break the other one, I had something to, just in case. So, um, all right, so I have to get this down to... Uh, well, I'll show you how to take off, so we'll get back. All right, guys, so I have to take this air cleaner off, and it should be down below, somewhere down in there. All right, All right guys, hope you can see that. But that's the tube right there, it's the exhaust back pressure tube. It's that silver tube that goes from here all the way up, and there's a sensor right there, up in there, right there. And that tube right there, you can kind of see the sensor from right there, right there and there. I take it off. I'm gonna spray it with some WD, not WD-40, but penetrant like uh, stuff because it's actually an exhaust manifold. So I do actually have some anti-seize for the new one. So yeah, it's gonna be hard to get to. Let's see if I can reach in there. Might have to go underneath to do it though. So all right, guys, here you go. They're side by side, and obviously the new one, the old one. Um, I don't know if you can see that in the light. That is pretty uh, caked in there, you know. And this is a uh, pretty caked, but all right. So I have the new one. So um, yeah, I'm gonna put the new one there. Yeah, it's gonna be easier to uh, put the sensor on here than it's out there. So I'm gonna do that right here and get put it back on. So this side actually doesn't look that bad, but I should see if I can blow through it. All right, so, uh, yeah, so, I mean, this is probably not the best brand of sensor. Um, it's funny, it looks like it's the exact same part number on it. It looks identical. Well, this one's a little bit shorter, but same exact part number on it, though. No, different, I guess, sorry. <laughs> the top part looks the same, but the bottom's different. All right, so, actually, let's make sure these are similar. They need to be compression settings. All right, cool guys, get it on there, so. All right guys, there it is. Um, see that tube, I put my light on there so you can see it. And it goes up there with the connector, wire connector, so. All right guys, get it put back together and see if it made any difference. Okay guys, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it is all in my head. Everything actually looks to be correct. Exhaust back pressure, the map, borrow, my uh, VCT percentage, you know, where the veins are at. Right now there's 69%. So, I'll just keep an eye on that. I think maybe I'm fine. I don't know, maybe it's all in my head. I have no idea, but I definitely read, read that wrong. So, yeah, don't take my advice on that one, but uh, at, least, it, at least I showed you where, where to get it, where to remove it, but yeah, I guess uh, I was wrong about that. So, it's more of like an atmospheric pressure reading. I'm, a, I'm down here at the beach, so. Not sure, man, but, uh, all right, guys.